Hey y'all, hey, Amanda here, and today I'm actually recording a video the day I kind of want to upload it, which is very unusual for me, and I'm sure you guys have noticed I have hardly had any videos up this week. I've had many days where nothing has happened, and so I figured while my coffee is brewing, because <laughs> it is, we can go through some housekeeping items. So first of all, if you hear howling and stuff, it's like the windiest day of life right now, so... Yeah, the wind may make an appearance via sound in this video. And then next, back to what I was talking about, this past week was like the craziest, busiest week for work. And even um, the second half of the week before was pretty, pretty busy. So there were days where, there was one day in particular I didn't leave work until like 11 o'clock at night. And for some context, I'm usually in the office somewhere between 8 and 8.30 each day, so it was a really long day. I've had several really long days, so that's why there weren't any videos. Um, just filling you guys in, not making an excuse. It's my channel. If I don't have time to put up a video, it's not the biggest deal. I hope you guys feel the same. They're just YouTube videos, but um, yeah, so that brings us here. I'm filming the day I want to put this up. So, there's something a little special about that, in that I could show you the recap here, um, and how it's going so far. So, really didn't get much mail this week, kind of wasn't expecting much, so that's okay. And then I did not track my spending at all. I want to go back in and put that in there, because I'm really curious what I spent over this crazy ass week, but not the biggest deal. And... Yeah, I didn't use my checklist very effectively. My big meeting that we were prepping for was on Wednesday. So Thursday, even though I was still at work late, I, when I got home I was like not doing anything. And I'm still kind of trying to get my to-do lists going. So I guess I'll go through this briefly. I don't want to spend a lot of time on it. That's another change that's going to be happening. Um, recap videos, I don't think I'm going to do individual recap videos anymore. I usually recap weeks on my Instagram, even if it's a little late, and I'll tag, like, all the shops used. But, um, if you want, like, one recap video a month where I go through all the spreads of the month, let me know. I'm trying to figure out a better way to do it, because those don't get very many views to begin with. Oh, did you hear that? That was the wind. Anyway, back to this. The only thing that bothered me about this week, and it didn't even bother me a ton, was that this purple was off. But honestly, this purple was in a little bit of the scribble items, so that really wasn't a big deal to me. This spread was mostly hell, or, um, Little Miss Papery. I'm getting confused. And then this was Dulu Stationery. The headers were Sweet Kawaii Design. There are lots of Scribble Prints Co. April items peppered throughout. I've got Sweet Kawaii Design Salad and Pizza, some Glam Planner fries and ice cream. And then this is Boulder Bond. This is Blackbeard Prints sticker. That's Sweet Kawaii Design. I'm trying to point out anything that's like not. Scribble or Little Miss Papery. This is Glam Planner. That's Hello Simple Paper. Mm. That is Lexi Kylie. And that sticker is Sweet Kawaii Design. So that's everything. I used a lot of the same shops over and over again in this one. And I really like it. I think it's super cute. <gasps> Do you hear that beeping? That means my coffee is done brewing. Okay, so we've recapped this week. I'm going to go pour some coffee in a mug, and I'll be right back. We'll start planning this week. Okay, let's get started. So I'm using this kit from Paper Honey that Kelly had sent me, although you guys know I love Paper Honey already. So I've got the full boxes, the ombre heart checklists, some little things, headers, and then washi. So let's see how far we can get with this before I start adding in other things. I've just got these stickies that I'm using. And I'm in a pretty good rhythm. kind of like what I'm doing um, as far as planning. Like, I really like the way this turned out. It's really cute. I love the box at the bottom. I love all of it. So let's see how far we get with this. So I gotta pick one that's gonna go in the corner. 
and I kind of like mm, this one, this blush animal print one. All the rest are going to go down the bottom, so I guess I'll just go in no particular order. No, they're different. Yeah. So I used the Barista Brava, Brava Barista coffee that I got at Sam's Club this morning. I bought whole beans. I like um, grinding them up myself. And I put them in the French press. That is from Idyllic Homes. And it is in, I believe, February's favorites video. If you want to check that out for more info on the French press I used. And then I added some cinnamon and cocoa powder to the ground up coffee because it just makes it, it just gives it more like interest. Because I'm not a huge fan of the barista barilla coffee. So we're done this sheet. It's just not the most interesting coffee. I don't know how to explain that beyond that, but um, yeah. So I just added the cocoa powder and cinnamon to make it a little more interesting. And then I add in organic soy milk and some honey. And that's usually how I make my coffee at home. Austin doesn't drink coffee very often, so it just makes a lot more sense. Even though it does taste better, it just makes more sense that we buy the whole beans and just grind them ourselves because it just stays fresher longer that way. Especially since he's not drinking it with me. It's a lot of coffee to drink by yourself, you know? So I just grind the perfect size amount for just me. Almost got the today section done. Now the to do's. I really love pastel purple, it's so pretty. And teal. I love the combination of these. April is one of like my favorite color schemes in the Erin Condren. It's just very visually pleasing. I think my least favorite is July. And I think July could have been really awesome. It's just the choice of reds slash oranges and the blue. It just rubs me wrong. I don't like the particular ones used. I think I'd personally switch the colors of December and January. I don't know if I'd switch them, but I like the December colors better in January. That vibe is just more January to me. Cold, snowy, evergreens with the green. And November feels really beachy to me, those colors. Like sand and sky colors, so I don't know. I really want to use like oranges all November. That doesn't really match the color scheme, but that's okay. Cause you can just do like this and cover everything up anyway. <laughs> I 
woke up really sore this morning. And I can't for the life of me figure out what the heck I did. Like, I knew my arm was going to be sore because my grandpa challenged me to a game of air hockey at my little cousin's birthday. And I take air hockey very seriously. So, I know that's why my arm is sore, but I can't figure out why the heck the rest of my body is so sore. I don't know. It's intense. So, I've used all of these, but these ones right here, and we'll set that to the side in case I need them. <clears throat> now we're going to fill in with the checklists. love how this color scheme is coming together. <clears throat> I tried to roll up my sleeves a little so you guys didn't feel like you were like planning with a Ninja Turtle. Because I'm so green today. This is my bright green Ocean City, Maryland hoodie. Okay, one left. I'll save that for the sidebar. And then we can start with the little things. These are fork and knife ones, so I'm going to put that on every day. So I don't actually... meal plan in the sense that I know exactly what I'm going to eat every single day. Like, I'll meal plan before I go to the grocery store. Like, I'll plan out what meals I want to make, but I won't necessarily eat them in any specific order. And, but I just find that tracking meals like this, like if I feel upset, if I get a headache, if... I don't know. I just, I know what I was feeling based on the food. I don't really never eat anything super crazy for lunch and breakfast, so it's usually the same thing over and over again, so I don't really feel the need to write it down, because I can remember that. And then TV, actually, let's see what I've got going on as far as hydrate stickers go. So I'll just bring the whole binder over. How's that sound? Hmm. That one's kind of purpley. Let's just pull them all out. Okay, that one's definitely not it. No. Eh. No, no. There are several shades of purple here. Do you guys enjoy going through the stickers that like this? Well, let's bring this up here so I can compare. That's too dark. That's too dark too. This might be the one. We'll see. There's just so many. <laughs> Good one too. Nope, okay. Nope, that one's perfect. That's a Piggy Park design one. Yeah, I'm going with that one. I'll move this to the side again. Okay, so since it's a sidebar one, I don't have to worry about having them day to day. So I can go on with other things. Oh gosh, what do I watch on Mondays? I don't even remember. I think there's another Vanderpump Rules reunion special. 
Oh, which reminds me, I need to catch up on the Atlanta one because I missed that. We were out kind of late Sunday, last, the previous Sunday, Tuesday. Oh, Beverly Hills, I need to catch up on that as well. I've caught up on Vanderpump already. Survivor, I'm also caught up on. Thursdays is Big Bang, which I think I need to catch up on one of them as well. Friday and Saturday. Now I need to catch up on Atlanta, and then I think there's probably one more to go. Or maybe not. I don't know. And then Walking Dead. And then I've sort of just stopped caring about Potomac. I really don't care at all. <laughs> And on Sunday, we'll put a washing machine for laundry. And, <coughs> excuse me, I've got two envelopes, so we'll put my post office days in here, which are Friday and Tuesday. I had like nothing in the P.O. box when I went this past Friday. Which is like a double-edged sword. It's nice because then I don't feel like obligated to film some massive Happy Meal video, which I like filming, but they're very time-consuming. And I still haven't wrote all my thank you notes for my last Happy Meal video that I recorded. I don't think that one's up yet. Um, but at the same time, I, I love coming the post office and getting letters from you guys and it's just so nice I have a really good relationship with several of you where we just write back and forth and back and forth and it's so much fun so the hearts I'll use for watering the plants I've got so many plants now it's crazy and, uh, Sundays are getting crazy in the little things section that's alright I don't mind that should I put a little piece of washi there? It's a little distracting. Let's see. Do I have a teeny tiny piece? Let's pull you up slightly. Oh, that was pretty easy. On the other days, I don't think I mind it as much. Because there's like a large blank space, but with this one, it's just this teeny tiny blank space, and it's annoying. So, I'm covering it. There we go. It's not down perfect, but uh, that's good enough. And then, let's see. We'll put a little camera sticker here for filming. And then, let's find a planner sticker, shall we? Oh, good, I flipped right to the section I needed. I think that Santa Pop Studio will have, like, a perfect one. Yes, the purple one or the pinky one? Hmm, let's do the purple one. There we go. And now I want to do date cover-ups. So, I've figured out I have this light purple TGIF sticker on the Planner Workshop um, sampler. So, I'm going to put that there. Oh, it's getting really windy again. Sorry if you guys hear that. And then we'll cover up all these dates for... Five, six, my ring is all twisty, seven, I got this ring at the antique show a couple weekends ago, oh, didn't need eight, just kidding, nine, And then the dates. Monday. 
anytime I do this, it makes me want to start singing the Happy Days theme song. Monday, Tuesday, Happy Days. Doesn't it make you want that as well? Maybe not. Do young people these days even know what Happy Days is? Because I know it was always aired on Nick at Night when I was little. So I knew what Happy Days was. But I guess the youth of today, that makes me feel really old saying that, probably doesn't know what Happy Days is. And that makes me sad because I loved that show. Okay. Beautimus. I love it. Now we need to figure out what we're going to do for workouts. Which I really need after that week. I just need to release a little. It was a crazy, busy week. So, I'm looking at that. I don't know if any of those are really working for me. Uh, I don't know about those. There's like the little running man, but I don't love him. So, let's see. Am I getting paid this week? I don't think I got paid. Yeah, I'm getting paid this week, too. So, let's find some workout stickers and payday stickers. And I'll be right back, because i got to do a lot of flipping. Okay, I'm back with some things to add in. The first being this random one-off little pill bottle. I think this is from Amber's Design Studio. I need to put a prescription in for refill on Friday. And then I have these little weight stickers from Doodle Loo Stationery. And I'm going to just fill them in. When I think I'll be doing my workouts. make sure I give Austin a check to take to the, um, words, Amanda, what am I trying to say? The auto insurance office. There's no point in mailing it. We live close enough. He can just drop it off. So I'm going to put this right there. <coughs> and then Friday's a payday. I'm going to use this sticker from Libby & Co. Actually, I have a bunch of stickers from Libby & Co. I'm about to use. So, does this one fit in? No, I'll just use all these ones. And now, definitely want to pay the credit card. So that's a Libby & Co. sticker. This is a Libby & Co. sticker. And then I'm gonna put some money on the student loan. And I'd like to put a little, these are Mare Bear Crafts. And then I'd like to put a little on into my savings. And that's Libby and Cow as well. I think these were honestly were like all on the same sheet and I just cut them apart to put them in different sections. Yeah. And then. I need my baseball stickers, because it's finally baseball season, and I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. So, so excited. So, let's use these little ones from Joy's Pretty Planning, and pull up the O's schedule. Ooh, it's so exciting. Okay. Safari. Orioles. Okay, so the opener is on, or should I set this, I'll set it right here. The opener's tomorrow. I'm going to try and do these in the little things box. Game on the 6th. 
I know there's a game on the 7th. I'm giving one of my executives tickets to the... I'm not giving them. I'm, the company is giving them tickets to take a client. They're not my personal tickets. Let's just clarify that. Put one there. And then... ninth as well. And put it there. And then... I'll wait on Sunday. I think I might be going to the game on Sunday. So I'll put that like in a box or something. I'll set that to the side for now. And speaking of boxes, I want boxes to put down the bottom. So let's see what I've got going on for that. I know I have some Scribble Prince Co. boxes right there. But what else do I have going on? Let's find out, shall we? <coughs> Excuse me. I've got a bunch of scribble prints items in here. Let's see. Um, ooh, that might be cute, those little swiggles. Don't think anything from March will work in the bottom. I've got this, uh, multi-color sheet I could always pull from. Uh, okay, well that's it from the Scribble Stash. I think I'm going to pull out for now. Put them back. And then I actually have a whole section just for half boxes. <laughs> so, let's see. Let's see how far we can get with the scribble stuff, and if not, I'll just pull this whole thing out and stick it to the side. Alright. So, I think this one would work. And that one. Possibly that one. Maybe the pink one, even. Let's see how far we can get. Oh, I guess I'm not using the squiggles then. Uh, oh, well, I'll save them for something different. They're really cute. Okay, let's use one from here. And then I'll repeat a light one again. And that worked out really well. Cool. Happy with how that looks. So I'll just stick that to the side. And then I'll take one of these. Um, this one. Just put it here on Sunday. With one of these little Joy's Pretty Planning baseball stickers. That's pretty cute. I'm liking how that looks. I really am. That is adorable. Okay. I'm going to think about what I want to do with the sidebar, and I'll be right back. So, for the sidebar, I'm going to put this Hydrate Sticky, Sticky, Sticker from Peggy Park Designs down the bottom. One of these weekly tracking stickers from Scribble Prints Co. 
right on top of that. And then on top of that, <laughs> a piece of washi. Which one do I want to use? I kind of like this animal print one. And a dollar sign. Okay. From Scrabble Prints Co. The icon sheet. I'll just use that one. And then on top of that. Dang on it, where does it? Here it is. This checklist. Let's not put it down for good. And then an envelope. So I know I'm tracking my mail. There we go. And another sheet completely done. On Monday, I want to put this teeny tiny little coffee here on the checklist because I want to stop at Starbucks and grab some gift cards for some things. I'm going to put this little weigh in sticker. Mm. Where is their space? I'm just going to put it wherever there's space because I don't want to put it in the middle of one of these boxes. Put it on Saturday right there. That's from Sweet Koi Design. And then Monday is the championship game for basketball, so I'm going to put that sticker right there. Those are from Hello Simple Paper. Um, did I need to put anything else? I think, oh, I need checklists right here, and I actually know exactly what I want to use for that. Where did I put them is the question. Okay, I found the stickers I was looking for, of course, in the last place I looked these little two heart checklists from Joy's Pretty Planning. I just want to stick these down here. I just thought these were so cute and kind of perfect for work meetings. And if I have more than two meetings a day, you know what? That's gonna suck. Because <laughs> last week was stressful and I'm hoping this one is just carefree. So, got those down. And then the last thing I could think of is my weekend banner. I'm gonna use this one from Crazy Confetti. Put my K in the middle. Right there. And that looks really cute. I like this. I'm going to go ahead and fill in and I'll be right back. So here's how this week turned out. I, I know I loved last week a lot, but I actually might like this week even more. I think it's so cute. The paper honey kit was super, super adorable. And even though I didn't have every piece to it, it wasn't hard to grab from my other elements I already owned and piece together a really gorgeous kit. I think it is beautiful. I absolutely love it. Um, I'm so happy with how this turned out. And I'm so happy it's baseball season again. Super exciting. So the only thing left to do that I'm probably just not going to do here on camera is figure out what coffee cups I'll be using to mark my coffee all week. But aside from that, I think this is finished and I think it came together really, really well. I am absolutely in love with it. So if you enjoyed this video, you can give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave them down below. If you would prefer me filming this the weekend it's uploaded, that way I can do the recap like this, let me know. Or if you just want a recap at the end of the month, um, definitely just let me know your opinions on that down below, because I would like to know. And, um... Hit subscribe if you'd like to stick around for a while. Comments, questions down below. I'll talk to you all later. Thanks for watching. Love you. Have a great week. And bye-bye.